Hello, welcome back to Junkyard Dogs. Uh, came out to the Comet, hadn't driven it in a little while because I've been busy with work and other things. So I took a look at it and I found it had a flat tire on the right rear here and figured it was a good time to do a video. Um, I was going to use the uh, proper jack, the uh, uh, floor jack, to jack it up and change it out and do it the right way. But I figured I'd give it a shot and go old school today and uh, be a good chance to uh, show a lot of you guys who've never seen these kind of jacks and these uh, old cars how they work. So what I got here is the uh, old school bumper jack. Now, a lot of times... Um, that's all you had back in the day. And what you do is you use this jack here to raise up the car and uh, it's very precarious. Um, there's that little hook that hooks onto the bumper and the reason they don't use bumper jacks anymore is cars don't have metal bumpers like they used to. And if you notice, I had this bumper jack positioned between the two bolts right there. Those are the brackets that actually support the bumper to the frame. And uh, if you notice, when you jack the bumper up, it shakes and everything like that. It's not the, probably not the safest way to do it, but uh, in an emergency, it worked fine for many, many years. That's what we did. Um, what you do is you take this mechanism right here, you put it up. It says, see, it says up on there. And you move this jack handle. Let me get this out of here. This jack handle serves as a uh, hubcap remover, also a uh, lug wrench tool. And a jack handle and in uh, nefarious uh, for nefarious reasons has been also used as a weapon so we got the car jacked up position jacked up and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the uh, lug nuts off around here hubcap off like that use a hubcap to capture the lug nuts and see if we can't get the lug nuts off without spinning the tires and amazingly oh, excuse me I'm using the oh you son of a bitch okay okay this is live so bear with me all right you do not want to get under the car when you have this type of situation going on, obviously. Because you're rocking and moving it. Ah, and all I'm doing is loosening these guys up right now. Because being that it's precarious, there's a good chance rocking it might fall, it might fall down. If you also notice, I have uh, blocks under the front wheel. So I'm on a grade right here. Not only do I have a block under that wheel, I have a block under the other side too. That's a double shot. So, ah, okay, got him loose. Oh. Bear with me, trying to do everything one-handed. Ah. And so, look that's off. Now you'd be doing this on the side of the road, traffic going by. It's usually raining and whatnot. So, yeah, not fun. Not fun at all. Okay, I'm going to pause you for now. So we know how to take lug nuts off, so just hold tight. Okay, what I have here, so I uh, soaked up the tire to see where the leak was. And if you notice right there, right at the rim there, I have a little bit of bubbles forming. Now, because I haven't driven this car in over a week, my guess is it had a slow leak the whole time. And uh, uh, got minor air gap right there, and that's where the air is coming from. So we're gonna uh, put her back on, 